back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in so today let's just talk about it being okay for you to be selfish at times we are so well if you're anything like me then you're very you know you just feel so guilty to think about being selfish you feel like being selfish is like so against you know God's way against you know, humanity is just not right. And if you care about people, you should not be selfish. That's what I struggled with for so long. I've always just cared about everybody else but myself. But then what I learned in that process and what I've learned in the mistakes that I've made and with living that type of lifestyle, of I'm not going to be selfish. I'm just going to, you know, just make sure everything is good with the person or the people that I love. And then I'll worry about whatever's left over, I'll give to myself. You know, that last bit of strength that I have or whatever I want, I'll push it to the back burner until I'm finished giving everybody else what they want or doing things that will make other people happy, people pleasing. And so what I've learned through that process and through that experience in my life is that you never win living that type of life. And in the end, you always feel unhappy. You feel just, you feel empty because you're never doing anything that's for yourself. You're never taking care of yourself in a, to the point where you're making sure that you're good. I had to step back and ask myself, Mika, are you okay? Are you happy with, with the way that you, you've lived your life so far in life, and with the decisions that you've made and with trying to make sure everybody else is good and putting what you really want or what you thought about or putting your own desires for yourself on the back burner are you really happy? And it came to my acknowledgement and to my realization that no, I'm not. Because I know that all the people that I've sacrificed for, people that I've given everything to, people that I've, you know, just tried to, you know, just love with every bit of my of energy that I have, people that I've tried to help them get to their goals, reach their goals, reach their destination, reach their desires and hopes and dreams. They did not give that back to me. And that's that's okay though. There's nothing wrong with that. Because they knew that it was okay to be selfish. And sometimes you you are entitled to being selfish. As a matter of fact, I would go with the extent of saying all the time, if it's something that you need, if, even if you're a parent, if you're married, if you're in a relationship, if you are just, you know, somebody who had a huge uh, role in somebody's life, you still are entitled to have some moments of being selfish. If you feel like, you know what, I am breaking. I need to take this time for myself. I need to do something that makes me happy. I need to rewind. I need to, you know, let go of whatever baggage that I'm feeling in this moment. You are entitled to that. And nobody should make you feel bad for that. Because if you're not good anyway, what good are you for someone else? If your mental health, if your well-being is not in a good standing, what good are you to other people anyway? And I think sometimes we, we forget that. We feel like we need to just give, 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 and forget about ourselves to prove that we love people. But truthfully, people know that you love them when you take care of yourself. When you're healthy, when you make sure that you're doing what you have to do to make sure that everything is good with you, that's when people know that you love them. Because they know like you, you care so much about yourself you know, you care about your well-being, you care about your mental health, you care about doing things that make you feel joyful and happy. First of all, you're not going to attach yourself to them and make it like they have to do that for you. Because when you're not doing it for yourself, that's when you start to feel like the people around you and the people that you've done things for should be giving that love and that happiness and that joy to you. And that's too much pressure and too much responsibility to put to somebody else. Your happiness is your happiness. Your joy is your joy. And you have to be the one that's willing to get it. And you can't sit around and hold your hand out to people just because you've done for them. So when you're loving yourself and you're able to give that to yourself, people want to do more for you. People want to give you that. They want to add to your happiness. And they, they feel safe with loving you and they feel safe with allowing you to love them because they know like you're not going to feel be dependent and you're not going to feel like well I did this for you so you did that for, you have to do this for me always holding something over your head so that's one huge thing to think about when people feel the most love from you and they, they can see the love that you have for them when you are able to give it to yourself and they know like 
when your mental health is good. Because when you're always giving to somebody, even your kids, you're always doing, 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 you get burnout. And when that happens, you get angry, you get attitude problems, you're not the nicest person. Yeah, you love that person and you probably feel like, I'm trying to show you I love you. But they feel it more when you take the time to do things that are pleasing to yourself, things that, that make you feel happy, things that make you feel complete. They feel it the most then because again, you're not, you're not just blowing up on them when you're not in a great space. Because when you're happy and you're whole and you take care of yourself and you know how to say, you know what, this time is for me. An hour a day, I'm just taking it and just sitting with myself. I'm going to watch my favorite TV show. I'm going to take me a bath. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I'm going to take myself out to lunch. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to sit on Instagram or, or social media and scroll or whatever it is that makes you feel happy. That's when people appreciate you more. They know that you love them because you love yourself and they are they feel safe they may they may not like we always like it you know sometimes people we get in our ways we get a little selfish you know and we expect other people to do for us because we want them to but people respect those who stand up for themselves and say no this is my time you asked to do something between this and this time well between this and that time i'm going to be catching up on my favorite TV show. I'm going to be doing something for me. And then after that, I'm free to hang out with you. I'm free to do something for you, but I'm not going to always tell myself no for you. Because just like I said before, you are the only person responsible for your own happiness and joy. So if that person is depending on you to bring them happiness and joy in some type of way, maybe they need to reevaluate themselves and start doing the work on themselves so then they are not doing exactly what I'm saying, which is, you know, just depending on everyone else. I hope this makes sense. I know it sounds a little crazy. Being selfish is not always bad. Now it is bad when you know, like everyone's doing things for you or, or you're, you're, you're just always in that, that no, you know, everything, no, no, no. But then you expect other people to do things for you. You expect people to give to you and be courteous and polite to you. But then when you, when someone is asking you for help, you say no all the time. That's when you're being selfish in a negative way. But it's okay when you say, you know what, I need this time for myself. I want to go on a trip. You know, for me, I don't want to invite nobody. I don't want to tell myself no so I can babysit your kids. I don't want to tell myself no so I can spend time with you. This is what I want to do. And as long as you're not hurting nobody, as long as it's truly something that you want to do for yourself. I mean, of course, if you're married, that's a different scenario. You have to talk that over with your spouse. But still, there should be some kind of compromise along the way. Maybe you guys can take a trip together, whatever. But this is just for people in general and people, you know, who are like myself, single and, you know, just trying to make friends, trying to, you know, make everybody happy and, and things like that. You need your kids happy. Sometimes you just have to step back and say, no, this is not making me happy, though. It's making you happy. But before we go, think about this. A lot of times when we are trying to push for people to be happy and we're trying to do everything everybody loves and be perfect and the superhero people use you, people don't appreciate you. And then later on down the line, they forget about you. They're on to the next person doing the same thing to somebody else. So why would you allow yourself to be put in that situation where you are just constantly, you know, giving all your energy away, all your power away and forgetting about yourself just to make other people happy when those other people can care less? I mean, I, I, that may sound really harsh, but it's true. I'm going to live in testimony. I've been through it. I've even experienced it. I've even been a person who had people do nice things for me and not on purpose, but eventually down the line, I can't say what the person's last name is. So it's just stuff that you should really think about and just be a little selfish sometimes. Be a little selfish with your health. Be a little selfish with your money. Stop telling everybody that they can come to you anytime that they want to and come loan, get money from you. And most of the time they don't even want to pay you back. Stop giving out your energy, your your happiness, the joy that you want for yourself and need for yourself. Stop giving it to other people just to make other people happy. Stop people pleasing. It is okay to be a little selfish. Just be a little selfish. Don't change your plans for nobody. Unless it's, an emer it's an emergency. That's different. Or, you know, something big comes up that you really don't want to miss for somebody else that's different. But if it's something that you know it's like that person can wait or they can ask somebody else, then you don't go out of your way changing your plans 
you know, for yourself, love, self care, all that, it's not okay to just, you know, throw that out to the side just to make sure that somebody else is happy. Because I guarantee you, they're gonna come to you because they know that you're gonna say yes. They, that's the truth. A lot of people don't appreciate you the way that you think that they do. I promise you they don't. So stop stop being a yes woman, yes man, and start being like, you know what? No, have concrete times for yourself. Just like if you had a kid or if you have especially babies, there's certain people, you're like, I'm not taking my baby around this, this place. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. I'm not, my kid is not allowed to spend a night over this person's house or whatever your rules are. Be that way with yourself and don't make any changes. Don't make any changes. No, I am not going to take away this time. This is my meditation time. This is my time to, you know, just relax. Whatever it is, stick to it and that's okay. People will understand and they will respect you, I promise. They respect you. They may be upset at first, but down the line they'll know, like, I'm not gonna ask because I know that she's, you know, during this time she's doing whatever that she needs to do for herself, that she wants to do. Or he's doing whatever he he feels is best for him. Well, he's this is his gym time. This is his time to watch the game. This is his time to go hanging out with his friends. Like you, people will will get to know you through the way that you show up and the way that you show up for yourself. They will get to know you by the way that you respect yourself, and they will have no choice but to respect you the same way. But y'all, let me know what you think. I hope that I wasn't rambling too much. Um, this is just a, such a um, a broad topic. But I feel like it's really important for us to really talk about because I feel like a lot of times we are just, we don't, we don't have enough selfish time and then we get burnt out and then we get angry and we don't, we can't understand why we're mad. But that's why, because you're giving up everything for other people and you have little time for yourself. Make sure that you're taking that time for yourself. Make sure that you're loving on yourself and make sure that you're, you're, you're learning how to say no when it's appropriate and you're you're learning how to stick to whatever priorities there are for yourself in your own life so y'all let me know what you think in the comments box below like i say always i'm reading your comments as well as everyone else someone may need to see your comments someone may need to hear this video and need to know how to move forward give good advice positive advice and you know we're not here to make people feel stupid or feel ignorant or feel like they're just a lost case in life we're just here to uplift spirits and help one another grow give each other some new ideas and some different perspectives and get through this thing called life so y'all let me know what you think in the comments below we will keep the conversation going and we will talk next time bye